Hello guys, welcome to your 30th lesson in this Vue.js course. And in this lesson, we are going to be looking at deploying your Vue.js app. Now, this lesson kind of came up at the last minute because I didn't initially plan for it. But I thought it would be nice for you to know how to actually get your Vue.js app out there and deploy it besides when i was also starting out deployment hosting was something that actually gave me a bit of confusing time okay and one thing i want to note though is since this isn't really a course on deployment and hosting i won't really be diving into various and different options we're just going to pick the one that would be easiest and i basically make use of it most of the time Nevertheless, we are going to look at some various options that you have when it comes to hosting. So, what are the um, hosting options or deployment options you have for your Vue.js app or for your SPAs? Now, the first is traditional shared hosting. So, let's say you have a hosting uh, plan with maybe GoDaddy or maybe other hosting companies such as DreamHost or HostGator etc. Now, chances are for various purposes you might actually be making use of their shared hosting and for this all you have to do is one important thing you um important step you have to actually have to take is you have to run npm run build you have to actually build your app and compile it down into something that can be served over the shared hosting server so you can upload this using ftp or any other method the web hosting company has actually provide for uh, provided for you now you can make use of another popular option is Vercel, okay, which is very easy to make use of and one of the popular options we have out there. And we have Notify, also we have Heroku. Now, these last three I mentioned, these last three options I actually mentioned are very popular when it comes to deploying Jamstack apps, when it comes to deploying SPAs, etc. Because they make it actually really easy. And especially when you think it comes with CI and CD integration, this is just a nifty little feature that whenever you actually upload from your github repo maybe you um, connect it using github or gitlab or bitbucket or any other one it's actually watch out for updates so whenever you make any updates it automatically um built it and okay serves up that particular change so you don't really have to worry about okay running the build process again and uploading as you would have to do with shared hosting and then we have github gitlab and bitbucket pages you can make use of this another option is making use of firebase host okay if you are okay with that conversant with firebase you can make use of firebase to actually host your app and one other um, option is making use of cloud hosting such as amazon web services google cloud or microsoft azure uh etc so you can make use of any of these now for this particular lesson what we are going to be making use of is Vercel. okay and most of the time, 70% if not more than, I make use of Vercel for a whole lot of apps and for a whole lot of projects. Okay, so we're going to be looking at how to deploy our Vue.js app using Vercel. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I'm right here in the login page for Vercel. Okay, and we have different options right here. We can continue with GitHub, GitHub, um, Bitbucket, use email, it's a sim now um i've also opened up my github um logged in into github in another tab right here and okay what i'm going to do is continue with github and that's basically going to authenticate with github since i'm already logged in okay so it's going to authenticate and automatically log me in now the um essence of what we want to do is we want to actually import from a github repo and if um this is where all the all the course files have been um, uploaded so we have different branches for each of the lessons with um lesson 29 being the um latest lesson added okay so what i'm essentially going to do is i'm going to come here click on add new and we're going to click on project now uh you have various options here okay you can decide to start with a project uh choose a particular template here or you can decide to continue with github now if i should click on continue with github okay i actually want this particular vue.js 3 tutorial playlist to import this 
now when you're done with that it's automatically going to choose a preset okay framework preset there um in case and the off chance that it doesn't get that right which is highly unlikely um you can choose a particular pre uh, framework preset you need here and if you don't have any um other additional settings or maybe environmental variables that you need to actually build your app or you can you, you can just click on deploy and this will automatically start the building process so it's going to run the build process and you don't have to uh, worry about that okay so our, our vassal project our view project has been built but and here's a quick preview of the project but if you look at it right here it's just the basic um view js app when we um, created with the view cl high so what exactly is happening so i'm going to click on that and let's see now the reason for this is very simple when we imported from the github repo by default the default branch is going to be the main branch right here okay so when and um, this branch we created it when we created the first lesson okay the creating our app using the view CLI. so we essentially didn't do anything so how do we actually tell Vassel that okay we need from the lesson 29 now chances are you won't really get this because if you are uploading straight to your github repo branches uh, chances are you won't create um, any multiple branches like i have done okay but in the case where you actually have various branches there are various ways you can go with that or, or deploy your app your vue.js app so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, just continue to dashboard and settings here i'm going to just delete this so scroll down here and what i'm going to do is click on delete so it will ask me to type this in to be sure i want to delete and type delete my project okay so let's paste that and let's click on continue now it's going to delete this particular project all right now what we're going to do is click on add new project and instead of choosing this directly what i'm going to do is a bit different now the branch exact the exact branch i need i'm going to click on it right here okay so we are in branch um lesson 29 right here so i'm going to come here and click on import third party git repo and that wouldn't give me any issue since this repo is actually public and i'm also the one who actually owns the repo okay so let's click on continue and yeah it's going to tell us now you can create a vassal project or deploy any app on vassal without creating a repo vassal has various um options it has given to us and one of them includes the vassal cli it's a but it is recommended to actually deploy from your repo because whenever you update your projects now vassal is going to automatically deploy that recent updates automatically going to build that so what i'm going to do is from that this specific branch that we have here i'm going to tell vassal to create a new github repo for that so what's the name of the github repo so i'm going to name it food mood final okay and what all i can do what i can do is i can just uncheck this if i want it to be public okay so create so vassal is going to do two things first is going to take this particular branch use it to create a new repo and secondly it's, it's going to actually deploy from that particular new repo it has created okay and as we can see right here the repo we are actually um the branch we're actually bringing from is lesson 29 in which we are deploying from and creating a new repo from all right so let's just watch the brief process and that was fast and we can see it right here so if i should click on this okay it automatically has assigned a domain uh, as we noticed earlier foodmoonfinal.vassel.app and we can see our app right here okay so we have the recipe of the moment okay we have a featured recipe what if we click on recipe details and we can see this right here everything works fine okay what if we come to lamb and lemon okay i want to search for tandoori tandoori chicken okay click on that and we can see tandoori chicken recipe and everything essentially works fine all right that is nice uh recipe page and we can see recipes of the moment already loaded okay we can select 
the recipe that we need okay seafood uh i think i'm going to go with desserts and okay we can see this is looking nice so essentially we've learned how to be able to deploy with using Vercel. and trust me using maybe notify eroku the process is essentially the same it's very similar the major thing the major differences um, are just the interfaces and some of the terminologies they may use but then the process and everything is basically so much similar that you wouldn't have a problem with that so we've come to the end of this lesson and i'm going to see you in the next one